welcome to Buckethead video number 11. This is a another dry fit. Um, it's I wanted to make sure mounting the base to the uh, cremation box and the cremation box to the uh, flag holder was all going to work out fine and, and I'm very pleased with the way it worked out. Um, I still need to get the glass in and I've got the trim made but I have not got it cut to length yet. I've got to do some more uh, sanding on it and finalizing and everything. So I've got to do the trim for the flag and for the cremation box holder. Uh, but all in all, I'm really pleased with the way uh, this has turned out. And uh, I don't have the backer board cut yet, uh, but now that I've got it this made, I can take my dimensions off of here and go ahead and make it. And I left the uh, back off of the cremation box just so y'all could see inside of it. And uh, also this gives you an idea of how well this all mounted together on the base. And then this also shows you how the brass screws go into the brass uh, standoffs. And I have these same type of screws underneath here that uh, are in the top of the base. So this is all bolted together as one full unit. So all in all, I am very pleased with the way this has turned out. And I want to thank everyone for your compliments and your comments uh, thus far. So um, if y'all will bear with me, we're going to go ahead and get back after uh, the box and finish up the sanding on it. So hang on, we'll be picking back up inside shortly. Thanks. All right, boys and girls, we're going to go ahead and start the sanding process on the uh, the trim. And again, I'm going to do all this sanding while I've got a wider base to do my sanding on. And then this is going to get cut down in length or in width, rather. Uh, and I may end up actually cutting it off in a little bit thinner, too. But we're going to see. Uh, we're just going to see how it looks when we get it all done. But the first thing we're going to do is going to take care of all the sanding, like I said, while I've got a wider base. So here we go. Come back with this one right here and we'll do the same thing we'll uh, sand it down I'm gonna change batteries while I'm at it right quick okay now one thing that I recommend that everyone do is um, keep some little pieces of dowel rod or uh, on hand and use them for a uh, sanding jig and typically I keep lots of little pieces of dowel rod in fact I keep a lot of pieces of everything I don't throw much away <laughs> but with dowel rod you can wrap the sandpaper around it and you can stick it into the, the, sh the shape and you can sand it smooth so always keep some dowel rod handy. I'm not going to bore you with a, doing the second rung of it, but I got to do that up here on this side too. But again, it's with the same dowel rod. And uh, so like I said, I keep a lot of different sizes of dowel rods on hand just so I've got something to sand with as well as using them in my projects, but uh, they really help on rounded radius corners. So anyway, uh, I'll be back. Thanks. Well, welcome back. Um, some of the last things I have to do is do some final sanding up to around 400 grit on everything. I want to get this really glassy smooth. Uh, so I want a really, really nice glossy finish to it. I still need to cut the backer board for this, but I've got the the plywood to cut that and uh, so I've got to cut it and stain it but that's a real easy process and then I need to sand the back in the front of the uh, cremation box and get those to the dimensions that we need to remember the back was a little bit thick and the front was a little thin so we're going to do a lot of sanding to match those up and the base is pretty much ready the trim you saw earlier in the video we've got it sanded so tomorrow I'll get that uh, trim down to the size that I need and then I'll actually get the pieces cut and attached uh, to the frame 
and then also to the cremation box so we'll have those all set up and ready to go and um this is wrapping up real quick so i'm looking forward to getting the glass in and getting the clear coat on and letting this grain pop because there is some beautiful beautiful grain uh, in this cherry that i'm using to make all this with so i'm anxious to get this shot with that clear coat because i want to see this grain pop out i'm really looking forward to it so um Thank you everyone who's followed me this far along the journey. I know this has been a lot of videos, but I appreciate y'all following me. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And lastly, please share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. I'd greatly appreciate it. So hopefully in video number 12, um, we will be wrapping this up. So there may not be a video out tomorrow. Uh, I may try to wait until I get everything in and get this one actually finished. Uh, so I can wrap it up in video 12. So um, I'll get one out here for you just as quick as we can. So I promise you it's going to be worth the wait. Thanks. We'll see you soon.